Good evening. Been out here messing with the bell here. And the biggest problem I was having driving this car was this manual transmission. And not so much the transmission, but the way the shifter set. So what I did, and it's nothing that hasn't been done before. I found videos on YouTube and forums and stuff of what guys did. But here's how I did it and what I had. So this car has a 5.3 LS, has a MB3500 5-speed out of a pickup truck. And it worked fine in the truck, but when trying to row through the gears on this, one to two is easy. Two to three was a problem because I would end up going two to five quite frequently. And with this distance, it was hard to find three. It's fairly simple. See, I missed it then. It just, it wants to go to five just the way that you're pushing away from you as you shift. So it ended up putting, I say, a remote shifter, but let me set it back up and I'll show you what I did all right got it set back up show you kind of a big picture of it now I'll start at the beginning of what I did and what I used to do it so this is the jam nut that was holding the other shifter in place I welded a socket to it so that I could be threaded this rod right here comes up to about right here I didn't want to be at the end of it and I didn't want to be down here because you would lose your leverage I wanted to be in about in the middle to do that I just had a spare socket I don't remember what size it was three quarter or so drilled out the center a little bit so it fit further down welded that to it to that I had just a piece of flat bar stock you can get it Lowe's put it in the vise bent a U in it drilled two holes one on each side obviously and I bent it wide enough for this spacer to fit in. That you can get at Lowe's. It's just hollow bar stock. Cut that to width. Got it to where I wanted it. I came back here. And as you can see, I just used a tie rod end. This one came off of Amazon. I don't remember what it fit. The height, I looked at the measurements. And the height and everything were what I wanted. So I picked it up. And most manual transmission cars, the shifter is about close to your knee, a little further back. For me, I wanted it a little further forward, just the way this car is setting. But ergonomically, it just it works for me. Everybody's different. But if you're making this, you can make it however you want it. So on the other side, I did the same thing. Bent a piece of bar stock into a U-shape. Not bar stock. Yeah, a piece of flat bar into a U-shape. Hollow bar stock, same thing. This was just a piece of scrap I had laying around. I hate when people do that. Oh, I just made this out of stuff I had laying around, and then it's stuff that nobody would have at their house. But this is just a piece of square bar. You can kind of get this anywhere. Tractor Supply, Napa, Lowe's would have it. But it comes back to my tie rod end that I used. This is just a bracket that I made out of a piece of flat steel bent it. The only problem I have with that is I only bent one side. You can see where it's bolted through the floor, through the tunnel here. And when I would, let's see, there was some play. So when I would shift from, you know, left to right, it would move just a little bit. But found out it was more the sheet metal of the car doing it. So underneath, I took a 4x4 four four square electrical box cover, a metal cover, drilled two holes, and just bolted it from the bottom, and it got rid of all that play down here. But as you can see, welded it here, just screwed my T-shifter on it from the other shifter that I had. But this is a lot better. It's a whole lot easier to find third and fifth. They feel like they're where they are supposed to be, and I don't have to reach. The old shifter did sit about here, but the shifts were so long to make up for the shifter being so far forward in this car. But it works out. Again, I didn't come up with this. It's not groundbreaking. But this is how I did it, and it is successful. A whole lot easier to row through the gears, and there is a bit of confidence that you're actually going to go in third when you let out versus fifth. So it it is kind of embarrassing almost to wind out 5,500 RPM, 6,000 RPM in second gear and then go straight to fifth. But, works for me, it's better. Hope it helps someone. Appreciate you watching.